Russia? The military comes to inform the parents of the occupier of his death, congratulates them and gives them a badge in return for their son. The mother weeps, the relatives are heartbroken. And the most shocking thing is that all this is of their own free will. It's not in their house that the war has come, leaving them no choice. They are the ones who go to a foreign country to kill and die. They have a choice. They can stop all this and leave the Ukrainians alone at any time. They can stop and just live and let others live. But they don't stop. Absolute surrealism. Killed, tormented, suffering, and still dutifully sent to the meat grinder. The other day I paid attention to the possibility of an attack on Kyiv from Belarus, given the grouping of Russian troops currently stationed there and even in combination with the army of Belarus. Then I stressed, if they did not succeed last time with 40,000 elite troops, will they be able to do it with 12,000 recruits? But there is another very important aspect. Not only the quantitative resource of manpower, or its professional component, but also the technical one. But about everything in order. So, if on February 24th, 40,000 elite occupants could not take Kyiv, then how many recruits should we send to storm it? Clearly not 40,000. Let's assume 60,000. 60,000 is, roughly speaking, 75 battalion tactical group. And now the most interesting, what is the equipment of battalion tactical group? And that is on average, 11 tanks, 33 armored fighting vehicles, 12 self-propelled artillery, 12 multiple rocket launchers, 3 SAM systems and 3 electronic warfare. There may be variations depending on the functional purpose, but in general so. That is, for the 75 battalion tactical group preparing for the invasion of Ukraine it is necessary to have 825 tanks, 2,475 armored fighting vehicles, 900 self-propelled artillery and multiple rocket launchers, 225 SAM systems and electronic warfare. Such a resource on the territory of Belarus and close to today there is no. Even the tenth part of it. Yes, they are taking equipment to Belarus, but not in such quantity. But, let's say they do, then what? And then, forming a shock group that also takes a certain amount of time and resource. If all the above for these 75 battalion tactical group ignore and send to Ukraine marching battalions, it will be a grinder. A senseless and merciless meat grinder that will end even faster than the confrontation on the northern bridgehead in February to March of this year. Therefore, we watch very carefully what is happening in Belarus and do not panic. The Ukrainian armed forces have everything under control, 